Hi everyone, it's Tracy Lazat here, and today I want to share with you my process and how I created my blue jay tree. It's based on a memory I have of a birch tree I see in the wintertime, and it's usually full of blue jays. This one particular day, I saw a bright red cardinal in the tree with all the blue jays, and ah, I just thought it was gorgeous. Uh, all those spots of blue and that one bright red spot against the white snow was something I had to paint. And it was like a nagging voice in my head for the longest time. It just wouldn't go away until I got it down on paper. So it feels so good to have finally made it. <laughs> to make collections where the paintings connect to one another so when they are assembled together all the paintings fit together to make one master design of the entire collections. I have created several tree collections in the past like this and they all fit together like a grid. The first one I did I call my bird tree and it was my first attempt at this process. It's made up of 12 paintings and each painting has a different songbird in it. Then I decided to create an owl tree. This tree has nine paintings in it where each painting has a different owl family. Uh, my biggest challenge in creating this tree was creating the sunset background. Then I really challenged myself with the next one, my largest collection. It is called my Freshwater Wildlife Collection, which is made up of 16 paintings. Most of these paintings um, are birds, but I did include several fish, turtles, and frog to round out the freshwater theme. After making this collection, I decided 16 paintings is my limit because I found it particularly challenging due to the size. I started all these collections by first drawing them out to ensure they flow together and unite to form one master composition. Then I taped them together to paint the tree in any background to all the paintings at the same time so it all matches. Once the tree is complete, I then separate the paintings and finish them up one at a time at my art desk. When they're all done, I scan them into my computer and I assemble them together on my Cintiq with Photoshop to create the final master print with the entire tree put together. I approach the design of my current tree, which I call my Blue Jay tree, a little different from these past trees. This tree is made up of six paintings, but they don't fit together like a grid, which is how I made my past collections. Instead, I decided exactly where I wanted the birds to go in the tree, even if that meant overlapping the painting. And then I used scrap watercolor paper to fill in the gaps of the tree. It's a different strategy, and I never know how the final design will look until it's all complete, which makes the whole process for me an exciting challenge, which I love, especially when it comes out exactly how I envision it. It makes all the time and effort and planning and creating worth it. I hope you've enjoyed this little peek into my painting process. Um, if you want to know more, you can always sign up for my newsletter over on my website. And of course, you can always subscribe to my YouTube channel to see what I create next. Thanks for watching.